In this video, I'm going to show you how to create some cross-section sheets. Here I just have a Open Roads 2D file, and I've attached everything I want to see in my cross-sections. So I have my geometry, I have my terrain, I have some soils information, and I have my corridors, and I also have some structures, some pipes and stuff, and you can see those here. This is in the 2D model. If I look in the 3D, it's going to be a what you see is what you get. So here you're going to want to adjust the levels of your references. So when you cut cross sections, those will show up. So after you have those files attached, you can go to drawing production, named boundary. Let's just take a second here. There it is. This file is quite large. I'm on the cross little cross section. I'm going to pick the 20 scale, the name. Uh, the first thing it's going to ask me is identify path element. I will identify this path element. And here you can see I can drag and start anywhere. I'm just going to data click here and your interval spacing for this I'm just going to change this to be a hundred and I will just place a few here the other things to take note of is I have create a drawing selected and show di dialogue so what will happen is it will go ahead and automatically create your sheets immediately if I didn't have this checked, you would have to go into the name boundary and you can right click on the name boundaries and say create drawing. I can show you that here. But let's go ahead and create the sheets right away. I'm just going to place these few cross section name boundaries. I will accept that. And here you can see only name boundaries have been created. You have to have the 3D model open at the same time. So that was my mistake. So here's my 3D model. It created the name boundaries. So what I can do here, as kind of as I was talking about earlier, I can come up to this name boundaries. Here's my cross section groups. Here's the name boundary ML030. If I right click on this, I can say create cross section drawing. And if you watch down here in the right hand corner, you'll see the progress bar. And it does take quite a bit time depending upon how many references and stuff you have and I just have a few name boundaries so we'll see how long this takes See it definitely is taking some time. We're here at 35 percent. So here's one of our sheets. You can see that up here in the corner here. It says sheet in my view. If I select the view attributes, you can select between the models. Here are my drawing models and here are my actual sheets. So if I select this first sheet, you can see it places my annotation automatically for me. This stuff here is coming from our structures file. Uh, that's going to be this markers attribute here. We can just turn that off. 
and you can see that it placed my soils meshes on here you can see some existing pavement all my annotation you're going to get the slope annotation that is on a construction attribute you can turn that off if you don't want to see that that's really there all there is is to creating the cross sections we'll see if we can find that pipe here it is you can see it placed the structure in the cross section here I'm just turning off the constructions and that's all there really is to creating cross-section sheets.